Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Elbronin here again, and today I'm actually playing Newfound Courage, and I know this might seem a bit random, but I've heard the game is really fun and really cute, so why not? And I was planning on playing it anyway, so why not record it and play it with you guys? So, let's get straight into it. Also, the music is just absolutely phenomenal, even in that loading screen. I love it. And I've heard the music is really good as well. One of the best parts. He was seven, 189 years after the time that is not counted. When your mother gave birth to the most beautiful boy and you became a sister. How do I go on? You knew instantly, even though you were young, that you loved this boy. Your instinct was to care for him. You knew this before your mother, you realized his mother wouldn't. Your young years were spent making sure he could have this, have his. Under your watch, a perfectly healthy, strong, smart, but most importantly, happy young boy was raised. While chaos broke out around you, dragging you in, the boy stayed safe in the home you built for him. One day, when the boy was 14 years old, you saw a look he gave another boy. It was the first time you had ever seen it, and you knew it. And you knew that this look was not the look he gave to his friends. There's nothing this boy could ever do that would make you love him any less. However, this revelation had the power to drag the boy from the protection, the protections you so carefully built around him. You've heard hateful stories about those who romance others of their own gender here. Tell them to suppress his feelings or embrace his feelings. I feel like. I have to go with this one. You tell the boy he should embrace his feelings for the other boy, but you remind him to be careful. This type of love was dangerous in these types of places. The boy doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. After his conversation, you notice that the boy's become more reserved. He doesn't laugh as easily or as honestly. You see him lose his confidence and second guess his every action as he tries to manage the way others see him. Jeez. Eventually, because of your care, the boy heals, but you don't. You struggle every day with the knowledge that, despite your best intentions, you hurt the boy. You decide it was worse, even because it. You decide it was worse, even because it came from you. You resolve not to approach the topic anymore, but vow not to, but vow not to let anyone hurt him this way again. You fasten the walls of the home, and inside you grow a garden, wild and beautiful. But years passed, and the boys, magnetically attracted to one another, are not able to keep from being together for too for long. Their friendship rekindles, stronger than it ever was. It was Sunday morning when you noticed him acting strangely. It was the day after the two boys had spent a night together. The boy was sadder, sadder than you'd seen him in a very long time. Um, I feel like in real life you should say nothing, but I'm going to ask what's wrong. Talking quietly and occasionally stammering, the boy describes the night before. The boy and his friend had been accompanied by some girls. Something happened between the boy's friend and one of the girls. Nothing more needed to be said. Oh. Okay. He leans his head on your shoulders as tears gently flow from his tightly shut eyes. When there was once glowing warmth between the boys, now there was nothing but forest fires. They fought angrily with words. They fought angrily with words before. Eventually, they fought with their bare fists. Through this conflict, their relationship was revealed to all in the indifferent light of the moon, and you were and you weren't there. You weren't there. But you found out, 
Your deepest held fear, stinging with the cold that only... Your deepest held fear, stinging with the cold, only uncovered secrets left too long to concentrate do. Sorry, but you found out. Your deepest held fear, stinging with the cold, that only uncovered left... Uh, only uncovered secrets left too long to concentrate do. Okay. From this confinement, he saw you. A red blur of strength and anger. A deep flood ready to destroy any who flowed to harm that boy. Your boy. You found him broken. Not from the physical pain, but from the deep hurt on a heart that loved another who loved them back in a different way. A love that could only stretch so far because of something as trivial as biology. Unrequited, but still love. You knew he could not heal here. Not where there were people who knew that... Not where there were people who knew what he was. Not where he was in such danger. Go with him. Protect him. Uh, yeah. I guess leave and go somewhere else. You packed the home you and the boy had shared. And you left. But forces followed. Jealous forces that were incapable of love. You knew they would never stop, and that the boy would never heal. So while the boy was sleeping, you left to face them, but you didn't come back. The boy searched, and waited for a long time. So while the boy was sleeping, you left to face them, the forces. But you, you didn't come back. The boy searched and waited for a long time. Eventually, the boy became disorientated. He had long since depleted his food and water supplies, and no kick of hunger or dry scraping of his thirst would bring him to touch the half he saved for you. Oh god. It was just a moment before the end. The last time he would have opened his eyes, and that's when he saw it. A home. Guess we go in. That's not a. It was like the one you made. Not exactly the same. It was older, more worn, but just as nice. He was just like the one she lost. Not exactly the same. He was younger than she, he would be now. And more broken, but just as nice. The boy's name was Alexander. So this is someone else, I think. Man, just enjoy this theme for a bit. Alexander, wake up! Jake's here. Who's Jake? Wait a minute. I bet that room's still gross. Don't come down until it's clean, please, young man. It'll just get messy again. Yeah, what? <laughs> okay. Um, did I just... What? <laughs> uh, excuse me. What? Why is it so easy to clean your room? This is unfair. <laughs> All clean, better head downstairs. Clean your gross room. Come, took two seconds. Jealous. Hey. Hello. Come here, please, Alexander. Did you clean your room? Yes, but only because I fear you. <laughs> oh, please, you love me. Here, eat this. What? <laughs> you just have praised the croissant. So, Jake, is your mom still mad at me? Uh, Jake? 
fine, yes. She still thinks you drank all that wine. I didn't, this time at least. I <laughs> Leave me out of this. <laughs> fine. Alexander, are you, oh. <laughs> still going down on that croissant. Hungry boy. Are you ready to go to the vault? Excuse me. Um, sure, woohoo! <laughs> oh, cringe. Fair. Great, then let's flip- get the flip out of here? Language, thank you, Jake. Okay. Flip, you better hurry after him. Please be safe. The vault's so dang- You know what? You'll have a wonderful time. Aww. I won't spoil it for you. Have a great day. You too, Nora. Thanks for the breakfast. It was super yum. The manners on that kid. They're too good for someone his age. Poor thing. Oh? Oh, soul. Things are finally starting to feel better. Oh, that's her boy in the bottom left. Hey, wait up! It's Alexander, right? Sorry about that. Mom's still fighting with Nora over some dumb missing wine. My name's Jake, by the way. It's nice to meet you, Jake. It's nice to meet you, too. Come on, follow me. We've got a bunch to do today. What's up? Oh, nothing. Let's go. <laughs> what? He just stood beside you. What's wrong? Before we head to the vault, I need to s I need to show you around. Sometimes you'll need to come come to town and chase up, go do books and stuff. So it'll be useful for you to know where things are. But if you want to work things out for yourself, that's cool too. Uh, sure, I'll take the tour. Wait, if I've been staying here long enough to get my room dirty, surely I know where things are. <laughs> oh flip, we're already so late. Better hurry. Damn, power walking much? Jeez. Stanley lives in the blue house building on the end. Well, uh, <laughs> oh, here he is now. Good morning, Jake. You must be Alexander. Good morning to you too. Good morning, Stanley. Anyways, moving on. Marge lives in this yellow one. And uh, Heather, she lives in the red one. We gotta run. See ya, Stanley. Okay, bye now. <laughs> This is my family's pub. We live upstairs. And that purple building over there, it's abandoned. I nearly forgot this. This is Peggy's house. She's originally from Silver Pine. But she spent a really long time in the other in otherware. She just got back. Behold! Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Check it. The Vault of Silver Pine. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa, indeed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Reiko, listen to me. I'm getting very tired of having to have this conversation with you. But Kay, the red sendings are acting strangely. You know they are. They're doing nothing they aren't supposed to be doing. Well, how about that one that ate all of Heather's flowers? Marge is still angry about that, you know. Well, sendings do eat flowers, and the vault... And the vault as well, as this... Huh? Well, sendings do eat flowers, and the vault as well as the sendings. Okay. <laughs> They're ancient. It's no surprise that some things don't work and... Don't work in others. Well... have gone slightly mad. Alright, well how about... Eat the gang. Go to, go to the library? My goodness, you're finally here! I'm sure you'd been eaten by some some monster from the other way- Excuse me, lady. Haha, <laughs> very funny. But I'm gonna pretend that was genuine concern. Reiko, I don't have time for this. Make sure those two are kept busy. Okay, but that conversation is not over. 
Oh, it most certainly is. Damn, K's here for the shutdown. <laughs> Whatever. How rude of me. You must be Alexander. My name's Reiko. Rieko? Hi, Reiko. Nice to meet you. Right back at you. Fab, right. Jake, I need you to watch me. We have some cleaning up to do. Oh, what? I was meant to show Alexander around. I know. But last night, some... Last night, some red sendings made a huge mess. So you... So you and I get to clean it up. In the meantime, Alexander, you'll find a box just near the entrance. It's full to bursting with books that need to be returned to their shelves. Okay. You need to return them to the shelves. Do you think you can manage that? Sure thing. Enthusiasm. Haven't heard that in a while. Oh, Jake, what you doing? I like you already. Oh, and one last thing. We're on the ground floor right now. Don't go any higher than the second level. Mm. It's too risky for now. Come on, Jake. Let's go. See you, Alex. Okay, I need to take the returns box. Okay. Oh. Uh, wait, so did it belong to the people? What do I... Oh. Uh, okay. Your friends are about to die. Returns, let's get the flip off this planet. Jeez, what the hell are these books? A chicken... Chicken recipes to die for. Okay. You lost... So you lost a doomsday weapon. A beginner's guide to being mean. Okay. The most pleasant ways to die. Oh my god, what is this library? <laughs> uh, wait, how many more do we have to do? 57 things to do before you die. Cool. Easy peasy. Wait, so am I on the second? Which level am I on? Shouldn't go past the first floor. Okay, oops. My bad. Yep, it's empty. What do I do now? Wait, what was that? Damn, the music cut out. I'm worried. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Excuse me. Uh, wait, could you not do that? Bitch, excuse me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now listen here, you little. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. Oh, and now you're gone again? Guess I'll put them back. What a jerk. <laughs> excuse me. Destroy humanity in six simple steps. Wow, I wonder what he was doing with that book. Tr tips and tricks for stopping extinction events. This is a really lovely library. Clean up after the book band will complete. What was the book though? No. Uh. Why are you like this? <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Power walking time. Ha, huh, caught you, Vandal. I... Hold on. Is there something with that bookcase? Oh, what? There's something wrong with that bookcase, isn't there? Hmm. -hmm. Investigate the bookcase. Hmm. I guess I could push it? What? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Am I that out unobservant? A door? I guess that makes sense. Alexander does it. Shouldn't expect there to be a door in the light. Journal updated. Investigate the room. Okay. Um, wait, is that the lady we were talking to before, but now she's a ghost? Wait, what are you doing here? Ooh. 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 Okay. Ah, flip, I think. I think I might be in trouble. 
Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, they are coming after me. Okay. But I need a little bit more intense music than this. <laughs> Is this a chase scene? Am I going somewhere? What the flip? What the flip? What the flip? What the flip? Uh. Oh, it's you. What in the other way do you think you're doing? Bunch of red things. They're chasing. They've stopped. There, they all look like angry, angry little red versions of that statue. Mm hmm. You're as bad as Reiko. I'm too busy for this. Go and get the overdue books from Marge and um Heather. Uh, excuse me. What? They're like on the other side of the. Spooky. Anyone who works the walks that slow means business. Better do what she says. So is this the time life is getting to Oh, can I talk to him? Hello, sir. I'm just a comedic tailor. I'd make a joke, but I've run out of material. <laughs> uh, no thank- Alexander, that was a joke! Alexander. So you sell a joke. Alexander! <laughs> Finally, you get it! Why do you need a market stall for that? Go away! <laughs> Alexander, you deserve that. Um, Heather and Marge are like in these rooms, right? Yes, how can I help you? Hello, are you Heather? Obviously, what do you want? You have a book overdue at the vault. Oh, excuse me. Click. Oh, pineapple healing. Huh? Pineapple healing for people who believe that nonsense by people who probably also believe in that nonsense. <laughs> Gosh, that's a mouthful. I think it's a wonderful title. Sorry, but do you have it? No, I don't. I lost it. Oh. Do you have any idea where you might have lost it? No. Heather, give me something to work with. Wait, actually, it's near some waves and wine. Excuse me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I just realized I'm late for... An appointment. Mm hmm. Okay, move, thank you. <laughs> I see how it is, Heather. That's okay, sweetheart. I mean, good. You should be. Huh? <laughs> She's gonna leave her house while I'm in here. All of this stuff looks healthy, and it smells funny. Okay. Okay, there's nothing else to do in here. Is it in these barrels? Nope. Um, uh, is that me? No. <laughs> I thought I was controlling her. Wait, what? Uh. Okay. Hello, sweetheart. I'm Marge, purveyor of fine sweets. How can I help you on this lovely day? I was just here for... Wait, let me guess. Ah, here we are. The boo? I came here to try a delicious sweet. Take this. The, wh what's with the food praising <laughs> before you eat it? Whoa, that was yum. But I'm just here to collect your overdue book. It's called A Simple Cure to Everything. Sugar. Oh my goodness. That had completely slipped my mind. Let me get it for you. Is it? Here you are, sweetheart. Hey, praise the book. Oh, I thought I was going to eat it. Collect the overdue book for Marge complete. Okay. Marge, are you also Heather? You can call me Grandma Marge if you'd like. Not... Not Heather? Sorry, sweetheart. That door's for staff only. Mm-hmm. Sus. Is that where you keep your other wig? Huh? Huh? Okay. Um... Wait, so I've only got one of the books, right? From Heather. What? Heather left and became Marge. I get Alexander. You here to pick something up for K? No, sorry, Stanley. I'm trying to get some overdue books back from Heather and Marge. We should speak with them first. I did, Stanley. Oh wait, they'll either be in the yellow building besides this one. I don't remember how to speak like him. That Marge. She often reads laying next, 
Lorraine beside the ocean near Nora's cottage. Which is a lovely thing to do. But she is dreadful habit of leaving whatever she was reading behind. Ah, okay. Wait, so where's the beach? Is it this thing? Is this a beach? Book? Book? Hello? That's not a book. Mmm, decapitated? Wait, are these the sendings? I don't remember what, what they said these were. Aha! Uh -huh. Return to the vault. Can I get this bottle of wine too? I wonder if this is missing wine Jora, Nora and Jake's mum are fighting over. It. I should give this back. Oh, yeah. Give it back to Jake's mum. Um, hello. Do you like sunny days? Uh, yeah. Lame. Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me. I think I might make a pavlova. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Love a pavlova. Do you have any new jokes? Go up. Uh okay, sorry. Sorry for not getting your jokes. I'm not at your level of humor. Stanley, calm down. Hello? Oh, I have to empty. <laughs> Oops. Hello. Wait, what was his name? Jake? Okay. Hey, Alexander. Hey, Jake. Good job getting those overdue books from Marge and Heather. They can be tough to deal with. Sorry, I had to go help Reiko most of today. How could you? <laughs> no problems. Phew, I'd worried you feel neglected. But it was like two minutes. No worry. I've still got some stuff to show you. Is that rain? This is a massive mansion. How can you hear that? If you didn't bring an umbrella, you can share mine. Ooh. <laughs> Oh no, yes. <laughs> this also feels slightly ominous. One of those sendings is gonna just jump out. Wait, where are we going? Oh! Welcome to the Koala and Cream. My family's pub. You should go around the room and meet everyone. I'll get some drinks with my mom. Okay, mingle with the town folk. So this is K. Reiko tells me you completed your work with distinction. Well done. G good conversation. I hope you'll get to meet Peggy. She's wonderful. Wait, who's Peggy? She only just got back from Motherware, so you're quite lucky. Who's this? Jake's dad. Hi, Alexander. I'm Sienna. Sina? Sina? I'm Sienna, Jake's dad. Surely there's more to you than that. Nope. Not that I know of. <laughs> okay. Way to have confidence. Um, wait, hello. Buzz off, Bob. I'm talking to Rick. Uh, okay. CN. Wait. Okay, is dad just drunk? Like, what? <laughs> or they just have two Siennas. Sienna's a bit rude, but she's sweet once you get to know her. Mm-hmm. Or after you bribe her. <laughs> okay. Android. Hey, you must be Jake's mum. And you must be Alexander. It's lovely to meet you. You too. Listen, I found this bottle of wine by an overdue book of Heather's. What? You did? Show me. I can't, I can't. Why? Oh no. What? This is the one. Oh, this is the one I thought Nora took. I feel terrible. I'll have to apologize next time I see her. Poor Marge is day drinking again. Wait, so it so it's empty. Thanks, Alexander. I said Heather. Ooh. Ah, yes. Of course you did. You're a lovely boy for saying that. You know, respect the proper nouns. <laughs> Here, take this as a thank you. Law book chapter. Okay. If you're reading this, beware, for things in this town of Silver Pine are not all that they seem. Okay, this soundtrack is not making it sound very mysterious. Um, not for all thing for things in this town of Silver Pine are not all as they seem. I've hidden chapters around the town that each reveal a hidden truth. Seek them out if you want to know the whole story. Not all the chapters will remain hidden, and some will only reveal themselves when they are needed. Good luck, I'll be watching you. Okay. 
So there's something, something to do with Mitch, Heather, Marge. I mean, yep, Marge. I've maybe had <laughs> oh God. too many <laughs> cosmo cosmopolitans. Cosmopolitans. Wait, what? <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, not these things again. What's the matter, Alexander? Nothing except, well, those things are trouble. They're called sendings. What do they do? Well, there was this white, there was this white one that led me to this room. It's not white. It's just blank. Okay, sorry. Oh, shush, Sienna. You know that's not true. Alexander, sendings are always either blue, red, or green. Well, this one was white. Uh, blank. It can't be. Sorry, go on with your story. After it threw half the books I put away on the ground, it led me to a room full of red ones and chased me out of the vault. Right into K2, but she doesn't seem mad, so that's good. Is that so? Then I have to go. Wait, you're leaving? Why? Like, oh, right now. No time to explain. Well, nothing to read into there. Anyways, you should know that the sendings are harmless. They exist to maintain the vault, that's all. Alright, flippers! <laughs> Marge is sloshed. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> it's two up time, let's dance. Here. I'm cutting you off, Marge. <laughs> What did you say, Stanley? I'll take heads. Oh wait, that's the wrong person. You're on. Come on, Alexander. I'll teach you how to play. So, our super sober friend Marge here is gonna flip three coins. You either pick heads or tails. If all or the majority are the, are the one you pick, then you win. So why not just flip one coin? Well, there's a version of this where the person flipping uh, well, there's a version of this game where the person flipping the coins can win. But let's face it, Marge doesn't care. <laughs> you ready to lose? Nope, but I'm ready to win. God, where, who would be main character? Would you like heads or tails? Always tails, buddy. Alright, tails are yours. Marge, flip him. Woo! -hoo! Wow. Yeah, oh. Oh. Alright, two heads, I win. By the way, we're playing for secrets, huh? I want to know all of yours. Not just because you're from otherwhere, but because I like you. <coughs> oh, yeah, okay. It comes around too, heads or tails? Always sticking with tails. Okay, I'll take heads, obviously. Come on, heads! Marge, who are you even playing against? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Suck it, Jake. Oh, tails in a landslide. Well done. You get a secret about me now too. If you uh want it. Excuse me. What was that? An explosion? <laughs> now, you lot, take a deep breath and calm down. What you've done? What? You scared the poor souls half to death? But I barely whispered. <laughs> Jake, make sure they get home safely, please. Faith, safe? Fatally? What? But I'm bringing it. Okay, but I'm bringing it, Alexander. Oh, I wonder why. Hmm? Typical. It stops raining as soon as it's night time. Alright, so to make sure the sendings get back to the vault safely, you gotta give them a little spook. They run straight back to the vault if you do that. Not a big spook, just a little one. I take it you've done this before? So, so many times. I'm going to... I'm going to the outside of the vault and see if there are any hiding there. Why don't you just... You do the town... Okay. You're going to do the vault and I'm going to do the entire town? Whatever. Sounds good. <laughs> I think there were five sendings in the pub. Okay, cool. Well, um... This one is hid very well. You're not very good at hiding. 
Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So they just head off to the place now. Um. Okay. Hello. Enjoying the flu, the view. Ay ay ay. Ooh. Sending spook two out of five. I have a feeling there's gonna be one up here. Hello. Good guess not. <laughs> oh, well, I'm over here. May as well go out here. Can't go home. I'm sending. I could have gone to my place. I've got to be so sassy, Alexander. Um. Oh, there we go. It's lock. No, this guy. It's lock. What? Boo! Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh! Three out of five. This town isn't that big. Ha ha ha, get wrecked. I'm faster than you. Um... No. I don't think they went inside the- oh, oops. Yeah, they didn't see you there. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Woo woo woo! Wow, they make really good noises. Oh, and here we go. Um... Boo! Okay, good job spooking those sendings. I saw some of them ran past me into the vault. They were terrified. What? No, well, maybe one. I'm just kidding. They were fine. Ow, my head's up. Probably. Oh, hello, Nora. Alexander, I was hoping I'd run into you. I want to show you something. I'll wait on the bridge. What? Are we literally standing like two meters away from him? When my son went missing, I lost the ability to feel. My whole world was in flames. I just kept thinking, tomorrow. It'll all stop tomorrow. I know you feel the same way about what you've lost. I'm not making any sense. Every night I come here and I put one of these in the river. So hopefully he'll see one and come back to me. I've got his name in it. See? Oh, Solve. Oh, that, oh, that was his name, right? I made one for you too. Don't worry, I made sure it was green. Oh, they like little boxes. So your sister knows you want her. Th oh, so your sister knows you want her to find you too. Shall I put them in the water together? No, oh, Nora. No. Things are starting to get much better. Thank you, Nora. Come on, Alexander. I have one last thing to show you tonight. What do you think? So, what do you think? The stars. They're beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I'd like to... I'd like to cash in on the secret I won off you at the pub. Ooh. I'm not sure what to say. Come on. What's something you've never told anyone? I'm, um... I'm self-conscious about my ears. What? <laughs> that doesn't count! There's nothing wrong with your ears. You don't think they stick out? Of course not. <laughs> hmm, thanks. Can I have your secret now? What? <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> You've probably noticed already, but I, uh... I speak with a lisp. What? How is that a secret, then? <laughs> the secret is that, even though I don't want it to be, I'm ashamed of it. What? As if you do. Ah, uh, it's okay. I know I do. But thanks for not noticing.
everything that surrounded them. The need for sleep. It was forgotten. Neither one of them wanted a single thing from the other. Instead, they simply needed everything. And happiness hit Alexander. Mm. Happiness hit Alexander. So, I have one last question for you tonight, Alexander. Shoot. Can I call you Alex? Oh. Oh. No one had ever given Alexander a nickname before. For reasons he didn't quite understand, this gesture meant a lot to him. Oh. Yeah, yes. Please, call me Alex. Okay, Alex. There you two are. We've been worried sick. Both of you, come home and get some sleep. You're gonna be so late to the vault. Do we have to go again? Kay's rage may cause her to... do something illegal. <laughs> I'm glad to see you two are friends again. Later that day. Reiko, where are you? Wait, what was that sending there? Was that one of those sendings? Oh yeah, a green one. So the green one's like proper librarians. Oh yeah, there's another one. Reiko, are you here? No? Okay. Hey, I think no, I know what you're thinking, Jake. Looks like we'll be going up to level two, but uh, no. Are you scared? <laughs> you wish, jellyfish. Okay, come on. Nora already called you cringe. Come on, at least try to make a comeback. <laughs> you wish, jellyfish. Um, okay. Uh, uh, hmm? Oh, for flip's sake, why are you two here? Well, that's not nice. We were worried about you. I'm sorry, I've been up all night. That's okay. Thank you, Alexander. You forgive people so easily. Why did you leave last night? It's nothing for either of you to worry about. Ooh, okay. But Reiko, but like Reiko, butts are for sitting, mostly, huh? Oh, <laughs> but Reiko, butts are for sitting. Wow. Could go after that comedian dude for his job. Uh. Uh, <laughs> uh, what the flip was that? What? But what? Huh? We were just talking to her. Why wouldn't she just leave? <laughs> typical. Typical? What do you mean typical? <laughs> this is what every means when they talk about the vault being dangerous. It's, it's old. It's, it's so old. It's falling to bits. But like, why did she just leave? We were talking to her. <laughs> we better make sure Reiko is okay. I mean, she's the one that just like, peaced out. What is it? The door is gone. I take it you don't know how to get it back. I do not. That is a problem. You don't seem worried. <laughs> well, I was just thinking. She wasn't all that nice just now. Hey, I'm on your wavelength, Jake. <laughs> Why'd she just leave? What? It's got nothing to do with... Jake, are you not suggesting... Oh my god, Drama Llama. I was just kidding. <laughs> Okay, right. Sorry. What should we do? I expect if we turn the gears back on, the door will come back. Let's look for clues. I'll check the bookcases. Go team! That's lame. <laughs> hey, don't pull a Nora on poor Jake. Save Reiko. So what, we're just looking at all the books? Two, three, four, one. This is the one way to look at it. By Ben Harrison. A strange title. Two, three, oh. So is it just this whole thing? Do all the books say that? Pointlessly complicated uses for over, over, overly large gears. Hmm, wonder if this book predates this room. 
can't read these ones. Um. Oh, wait. I think two, three, four, one. Okay. So I imagine this, like, can I do this? Yep, okay, there we go. Damn, am I like Sherlock Holmes out here? Look at this. Detect two, three, four, one. What? Oh, God. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Excuse me? Is that the code? Two, three, four, one. So, two, three. But what? Excuse me. What if I go four? What? Did I just read that wrong? Did it say two, three, one, four the whole time? And I'm just. <laughs> Maybe it did. Oops. Ooh, you did it! Are you sure you want to go save Raycon right now? I don't know, I'm not feeling very good after uh, not being able to read four numbers. Are you sure? Wait, are you sure you're kidding? Reasonably. Let's go. Okay, good. Chapter 2. Finding the end. Okay. Ooh. Um... It's not there. If it's not on the podium, the room should have split it apart. Something is terribly wrong. Damn, listen to this track, though. Haha, <laughs> Rico, we totally had to save you. We... Wait, wait, what? We... What's wrong? No. It can't be. Oh. 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 Alexander, I need you... Verse, Alex. Jake, be quiet. <laughs> Alex, I need you to run, as fast as you can, to Nora's house. Find her, bring the safe book of safety back with you. Or, just bring the book, I don't mind. I have a, I have a bad feeling. A really bad feeling. Yeah, kind of makes sense. <laughs> Look at this room. Okay, um... Wait, so if this is chapter 2 and there's only 3 chapters, I think this is a good place to maybe leave it for the de for the video. Oh my god, can we just take in the soundtrack for a moment? Please, holy dooly. Can't look at these things. Okay, so... And so after I'm done here, I'm gonna have to go look for the book. Okay, yeah. So, I'm gonna end the video here for now, guys. But, don't worry, I will be back and I will finish the story. But I just don't want to make the episodes too long. So yeah, that was the episode of Chapter 1. Pretty cute. Interesting finding out some of the lore. I still don't really know where the story's going, but uh drama. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching all the way through this video. I'll see you next time and we'll go find that book. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.